Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Mulvey, and I'm back again for part four of my playthrough of Agatha Knife. Last episode, we was hunting around the library and we was able to find us the access card. So now we can get some photocopies. And we can get into this doorway right here. If you haven't seen my previous videos, check the description down below as I've linked them all there, as well as all of my social medias, as well as my Twitch. But yeah, enough of me talking guys. Let's jump straight back into Agatha Knife. So yes, uh, last time we was here, we got the card. So can we use this on the door? We can. It looks like this door is opening using the access card. Let's see what's inside. Is there going to be paper that I can steal? Is that all that's in here? Ah, this must be the storage room where they store the library's things. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we got some paper. We got some paper. Let's take some of that. Yoink. Can we take some more? I've got a packet like that. Okay, so we don't need any more. Can we take some pens? Or oh, we can take pens. <laughs> can we take any more? Nope. Ink. Can we take some ink? I don't have a printer at home. Sometimes if I have to write things down during a sacrifice, I use animal blood. It takes ages to get off the floor and the walls, but that's life. The abattoir needs to be clean to create a good work environment. I don't think it's a good work environment that you have a child working in there, Agatha. It's not normal practice. I know it seems like I can put anything in my bag, but I don't want to put that bucket and mop in there. Go on, you know you want to. Okay, so now we can go back upstairs. Um, so I don't want to give, I don't think I want to give this person the photocopier. Uh, I don't think I want to give her the access card yet. So, um, yeah, we're going to try and blag our way with that geezer upstairs. And we're going to get ourselves a book. So close to making our little Bible. And then we're going to get some disciples. <laughs> Come on in, mate. You can help me out now. Stop listening to your music. Hello. I give him the sheets of paper so he can make me a book. I've got a stack of paper. Can you make me a book? Of course I can, but you've got money, right? I don't have any money at the moment. Well, without money, I can't do anything for you. Sorry. But don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. You could have led with that. You could have led with the fact that I had to pay. Dickhead. Your goatee sucks, bro. Right, let's go find some money. A lot of things requiring money at the minute, and I have none. So, let's go make that cash money, please. Maybe I can use this without her looking at me. Um, we should give it to my own I don't really want to. Was that the only place to use it for that door? Oh, what's this? 10% copy discount? Give me one of them, because I feel like I'm going to have to use the copier. Right, um, let's give him this. I found your card. Seriously? Yes, here you go. Wonderful. Oi, there we go. It's on and working. The photocopies are being done, thanks. No problem. Hey, can you do me another favour? Could you look after the card for me? Wouldn't it be better if you kept hold of it? No, because I'm bound to lose it or forget where I put it. The story in a book didn't work, but I'm sure if I can remember that the little girl with the blue hair has my card. Um, I don't think I'm coming back here. By the way, what's your name? Agatha. Very good, Agatha. When I need the access card to get into the storage room, I'll come and find you. Are you staying with me? No thanks, I've got things to do. Okay, see you around, and thanks very much. Ooh, achievement. Good Samaritan. You gave the library access card back. Oh, so I didn't actually have to. Right, onwards we go. I don't like the fact that you can't run inside buildings. What does this guy want? Hello, man in suit. Hello, girl with bags under her eyes. Are you the boss? No, the boss is the guy over there eating the sandwich. He's the one in charge. If you're not the boss, why are you dressed like that? So I don't get a builder's tan. That's not a good look. Are you going to build something? 
Yes, but first we're going to tear down the library. When we pulled the building down and cleaned everything up, we'll cover it with tarmac and turn it into a car park. But, there are no cars in this town. Why are you building a car park? No idea. The boss says we'll make a stack of money, so I'll just get on with it. Well, if you don't mind, I need to keep taking notes. Goodbye. So you're going to tear down his library for no reason other than money. Hmm, I don't like your moral choices, sir. Are you looking for something? That's a chorizo sandwich, isn't it? Yeah, what of it? I like chorizo. Well, go and ask your mum to buy you some. You're not having mine. Are you mad? Why don't you go away and let me eat in peace? You're a grump. Really? Why are you still here? Get out of here and let us work in peace. You've got way too much hair on your arms and belly. You're like a bear except that bears are pretty and you're ugly. And you've got eyes like a corpse and your hair looks like you've literally just got out of bed. Boy, I'm not giving you my sandwich so give it up already. I don't want your sandwich. I just wanted to annoy you because you're not a nice person. <laughs> you don't deserve to eat something good as a chorizo sandwich. Look, girl, I work hard every day so I can eat sandwiches like this one. So stop having a dig and get out of here. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm going to, sir. I'm gonna stay here for a little while longer. I hope he chokes on it. I really dislike him. He deserves to be given a hard time. But I'm not going to do it. Sandra has asked me to get a big fat book with blank pages and a red cover. We're going to get on with that. Was he the builder that um Nika annoyed in Mechanica? Because I know there was an achievement uh, link to that. I'm not going to speak to you anymore. I don't like him. Whatever, let's get back to our plan. Okay, Elsa's show circus, or oh, what's that? Oh, mad, on Mechanica's one, that's what, it's where the homeless dude lives. Oh, he's not happy. He's sad. Maybe we can do something to help. Hello, lion. Hello. Is something the matter? I miss my cubs. Where are they? A week ago, they left and went to the zoo. They said they were tired of the circus and they need a change of scenery. So they went to that zoo and left me here on my own. Well, not completely alone. My wife is here, but she's not much company. Poor thing. I don't blame them. I did the same thing when I was young. I lived with my parents in the documentary recording studios until I got tired of chasing after the antelopes every day. So I came here the circus with my girlfriend leaving my parents behind. I had the best days of my life when I was when I was with my kids. But now, they're gone, and that's not the same. I miss them so much. I feel really sorry for you. Can I do something? Well, could you go to the zoo and tell my children that I love them? Of course. Fantastic. And could you please give them this? I'll help you out, Mr. Lion. I'll help you out with anything you need, because you're cute. What is it? Antelope meatballs with the finest savannah herbs and baby wildebeest blood reduction. Hmm, sounds amazing. Don't you eat them, they're the last ones of the batch. It's my kid's favourite meal, from an old family recipe. Okay, I'll take the meatballs to your kids. Where's the zoo? No idea, they didn't leave the address when they left. Okay, I'll find a way to get there, don't you worry. Thank you, small human. You're very nice. No problem. I don't like seeing animals sad, so I'll do what I can to help you. Cheer up, I'm sure your cubs miss you too. I don't know. Hope they're at least like the food. Hopefully it'll bring back good memories for them. Let's try and cheer him up. Cheer up. You'll see, your kids will love the meatballs you made for them. Hope they've turned out okay. I don't have any more ingredients. Besides, I won't be able to make more of the meatballs because the antelope is extinct. And the savannah has become a desert, so there aren't any fine herbs left. At least I've still got the recipe. There's blood coming from the circus. I, I have noticed the blood pouring out of the circus. I'm not gonna lie. What happened inside the tent? Ah, a few days ago during the last performance of the afternoon session, our colleagues of the... Huh, okay. Is that word okay? Our colleagues, the small people, blocked the exit and cut all the people in and cut all the people in public and the circus workers in half. No one was left whole. Whoa, why did they do that? Well, they came out on stage in the middle of the performance asking for a rise. 
because they were earning half as much as the other performers. The boss asked the audience and they replied that, given the small people were half the size of a normal person, half the salary should be enough. Oh my God. I'm not sure about circus HR, but I think someone needs to go speak to HR. I don't think the small people were particularly happy about that because they took a few swords that were lying around and the stage ended up full of half people. Hmm. So now everyone earns half a salary. Makes sense. I'm going to see you later, Mr. Lion. That was a grim story. Right now, the inside of that tent must be like an abattoir, all covered in blood and full of pieces of meat. Although I doubt human meat tastes any good. Give it a go, Agatha. Why not? Oh! Sandra? Crap, she saw me. Yeah, and I can hear you too. <laughs> oh, he's great. I love Sandra. He's amazing. What are you doing at the circus? As you can see, here I am. You didn't teleport me this time, did you? No. Of course. That's why I didn't feel that tickling sensation when I came through the door. And why did you hide when I came in? And you? Why don't you knock when you enter a place you don't know? I never knock, I just go in. Anyway, I already knew this place. What I didn't know was that it was a circus caravan. I thought you were in another dimension or something strange like that. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint. Ah, you haven't disappointed me. Oh, cute. You don't think I'm a loser because I work in a circus caravan? No. It makes no difference to me if you're in a little wooden house, a circus, or another dimension. I like you because you're helping me create carnivalism, and that's cool. You're cool. Just cool? <laughs> well, awesome. Hell yeah. Thanks. No problem. Well, now you're here, do you need something? Shall we consult the cards? Do you want me to teleport you to the butchers? Or have you got the book already? I need help with the cards because I don't know how to make money, Sandro. I'm a child. Oh, achievement. Will you help me? Of course. Let's see what the cards say. Give them a good old shuffle, buddy. Now that's some real magic right there. No David Blaine nonsense over here. The cards show the temple, the wise man and the notebook. A temple? Yes, a temple. The cards say that you should go to a temple where there are wise people and notebooks. Or that the wise ones make their own notebooks inside a temple. Oh no, it must mean that there's a temple made of the wise ones notebooks. Yeah, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure the cards are any good. He means the library. We went there. Oh, is that it? We're just going to go on one of the cards, even though you pulled out three. Okay, so I just need to make money now. How do I make money? I don't know. I don't know. So what do I have? Can I sell stuff? Where's that? Antelope meatballs. All right. We've got a discount code. We've got some pens. That's my book. Okay. I need to buy a ticket as well. Maybe I'll go back to the abattoir. I need money. Oh, we haven't got in here. We didn't go in here. Oh, hell yeah. What a pretty person. Probably another man who looks... Probably another man who likes women's things, like the guy at the church. Hey. Oh, hello. This morning I met a man with orange hair that liked to dress like a woman, and now I've seen another one wearing a bra and skirt. Yes, it's my wrestling costume. What do you mean your wrestling costume? I mean, I'm a professional wrestler and this is my costume. Wrestling. Does that have something to do with hitting people? Yep, kind of. The general idea that it looks like we're hitting each other, but we're really just messing around in a ring. Wrestling is just like the circus or the theatre. Ah, but why do you fight dressed like that? It's more fun. And it's not just for when I'm wrestling. A lot of the time when I go to parties or hang out with my friends, I put on a design just like this one. Everyone laughs when they see me. There's nothing better than making people laugh. Do people ever, ever tease you? Of course, all the time. But I'm a tolerant person. If I wasn't, I'd probably have snapped a few necks and ripped off a few limbs by now. Lisa's honest, bless him. I suppose it's more difficult to make friends dressed like that. Not really. In fact, I make new friends every day. 
People stop me in the street all the time. We mess around and they take photos with me. We have a great time. I got to go. There's a lot of people in this game that are just there to chat to, but they don't actually require anything. From what? I can't give him anything, can I? No, unless he wants pens. Hi. Hello. How are you? What can I do for you? I'm looking for a book with lots of blank pages. No, we know where to do that. We need money. No, I don't. I just got clothes and accessories. Basically what you can see here. Maybe you could try the library or the comic book shop. Although I don't know if you'll find a book with blank pages. The things you have here, the dresses, the bags, the bracelets. It looks like a princess's wardrobe. I'm sure a princess would love to wear one of my dresses. Everything I carry in the shop, the clothes and the accessories is Lolita fashion. Every piece is a small work of art, full of amazing details. See anything you like? No way, I don't like anything. Oh! And you don't want to try anything? Some girls change their mind when they see themselves in one of the dresses. No thank you. As you please. By the way, did you put your head inside the bin? I think you've got food scraps in your hair. You are very rude. Let's start again, shall we? Okay, so, hello. Hello, are you after something? Um, okay, we're going to leave because you have nothing of value. Um, okay, so we've got some umbrellas. Useful when it's raining, when you have to go outside, you put it over your head. Yes, I know. I think we all know what an umbrella is. Handbag shaped like a heart and another one with a dog's face. There's one like a violin too, or some sort of musical instrument. My backpack is cooler. It's smaller, but I can fit lots of things in it and it's super practical. I doubt I'll find anything in this shop. Okay, so why on earth? Are we in here? I can't see. Well, you could buy the hammer off me, Agatha. Come on. You need to be using your business mind here. Maybe I can get my pocket money or something. Why does anyone ever come to the store anymore? No idea, Agatha. You know better than anyone that our meat has always been premium quality. And I can't put the prices down any further. If we don't get customers through the doors, we won't be able to pay the bills or buy any more animals so we have meat to sell. At this rate, we'll have to close the store and we won't need any more animals. Sigh. I hope we find a solution soon. Um, I'm super confused as to what to do next. Oh wait, I need money. I have a money box. I have a hammer. Hell yeah. Progress. Progress. How much we got? The money my mum gave me for killing the animals and preparing the meat for the store. How much we got? Okay, let's, let's go buy a book. Payday achievement, please. Hell yeah. There. Right, so now, oh, do we need photos for anything? Mm. We might need a photo for the back of the book. I have a funny feeling, son. Oh no, because it's meant to be the great bleeding pig, isn't it? Maybe not, we'll, we'll see. We'll get the book first, because that's the first thing on the agenda going so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go buy the book first off because I don't want I don't I feel like I can't mess it up because he said I can get one ticket or loads of tickets and I have notes and coins so maybe if I just buy one I want to buy a lottery ticket uh, you can buy as many as you like or a one-off few I'd like, to, I'd like one please come back later to see if you won or wasted your money to go. Wait, yes, I still have money. I still have money. Oh, and I've got an achievement. Nice. I do feel like every character that you do interact with on this game, if they have something to do, like there is an achievement link, so it's probably best to get through them all. We can't run anymore. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, we can take them all. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that, I guess. I don't know why, because we have the pages. Maybe we need the red one for the cover. But, okay, whatever. 
Let's go. Maybe we need them later for someone. There's a lot of books, oh jeez. Oh, <laughs> I thought the game crashed. Hello? Why did that happen? What? I know I eat a lot of meat, but I'm really that fat. Ah, oh, because I've got full inventory. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. That was weird. That was very really strange. Okay. So can I give him the discount? Hello, what can I do for you? I've got a discount coupon. Let me see. Beach body. What's that? You got stuck in the lift. I haven't eaten anything. Yes, with that coupon, I can buy something for you free of charge. Oh, what did I know that last episode? I was here. If you bring me your school notes, drawing, or whatever else you have, I can make a book with you with the pages. That could be useful. Something that needs binding, come by here and remember to give me the discount code so that it's free. That's what I just did, buddy. Um, I need you to bind this, please. Hi. If I give you a packet of paper, can you make me a book? Of course I can, but you've got money, right? I thought it was going to be free. Sorry, but I can't do that. I need the money to keep the business going. Sometimes I do promotions with special discounts and the like. That way people get to know the store and come back later. But if you don't have one of the discounts, I can't do it for free. I've got the discount. I just showed you it, bro. <laughs> okay, I'll show you it again. That's fine. I feel like you've been smoking the wacky wacky if you can't remember me just giving it to you. That discount is going to be free. Very good. Let's get on with it. Give me the sheets that you want bound. There we go. Hell yeah, we get in the book done. Making progress. Done. Here's your blank book. We have a blank book. Anything else you need? Wait, let me. It hasn't. The thing is, my book doesn't have a red cover. A blank book with nothing written in it. I need the cover to be red. That will soon be a sacred book of carnivorism. Over here, we can just walk into his little, little caravan. Bless him. Okay, I have the book, mister. I've got the blank book. Does it have lots of pages and a red cover? Ah, no, the cover's white. In that case, we can't use it as the sacred book of carnivorism. It needs to have a red cover so that it represents the meat, the blood, and the passion of the great bleeding pig. Oh. So where am I gonna get, I mean, let's, let's go find out. I feel like it has something to do with that red book. So let's go and check that real quick. So after a lot of faffing about, no, it wasn't Red Book. So, um, can we come back yet? Have we won? I want to know if I won. Not yet. When the draw is done and the winner's ticket is selected, you will see it advertised on the illuminated sign to your left, the one with the red lights. Okay. So I guess once that's green, we will find out if we're winners or not. Okay. This is the last bloody place I haven't checked. Oh, for fuck's sake. Found it. Literally, I could, literally couldn't go anywhere else. My God. I've been looking for this for like 25 minutes, man. <laughs> I've soaked the book in blood, now the cover is red. 
all of that just to do that. Okay, now back to Sandro. Oh, why couldn't he teleport me? God damn it, Sandro. We are finally here. It probably only took a few seconds for you guys, but that was a minute and a half of my life I'm not getting back. Oh, that book doesn't look very, very nice to hold. Looks like you're gonna need some gloves for that one. What the book? With lots of pages, nothing written on them, and a red cover? Yes, it's what you told me, right? Yes, yes, perfect. Do you have a pen? Normally I never carry a pen with me, but earlier I found an entire packet, so yes. Oh, I'm so thankful we got into that store cupboard. <laughs> now you will write the principles of carnivorism in your book. And what principles are those? No idea, but soon you'll know them all. Oh yeah, how? Do you fancy heading back into your dormant imaginarium for a chat with the great bleeding pig? Ah, that would be cool, yeah. Ask him about his followers. It's important that we find out how they should show their faith to him. Ah, we also need to know what sort of clothes and interior decoration he likes. Maybe find out what he likes to do in his spare time, if he does sport, or if he dedicates all of his time to punishing unfaithful followers. I'm sure if you ask these questions, some other interesting things will pop up. Write down everything he says in your book, that way we'll know the history and the fundamental ideas of carnivorism. Okay, done. Let's have a little tipple. A little shot, please. And here we go. Go for it, Agatha. Search for the great bleeding pig and remember, write down everything he says. Let me know when you're done. I need to speak to you. Great bleeding pig, can you come out for a minute? Here he comes, little lad. Hello, do you remember me? Yes, Agatha. I really enjoyed our last chat. You were a pig and that's really cool. I think we've got lots in common. So, we're friends, aren't we? Cool, thanks, great bleeding pig. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions? I'm really interested in carnivorism. Can you help me how to understand it and how it works? It'll be like an interview. Okay, to get us started, I don't know. Tell me what carnivorism's all about. I like that there's no speaking with him. <laughs> it's just annoying, I don't have to read that. Tell me more about the happiness part and the eternal life. I'm particularly interested in that. Oh, we get an audience foe. On the inside, you mean? What did you say it was called? Gate of Great Sacrifice. Okay. And what's the gate like? Oh. Sometime later. We're still going. Dark red with a hood. Like blood. Cool. Oh, I don't have any pages left. I filled the whole book with notes. Doesn't matter, I think I've got enough. Thanks so much. I enjoyed talking with you again. And everything you told me is super interesting. Yes, if I need anything else, I'll come visit again. I'd hug you, but you're huge, so I won't. Okay, take care, great bleeding pig. Oh, he's cute, really. He's misunderstood. Sandro? What? Uh, oh, sorry, Agatha. I fell asleep. You were in there a while. Come on, get me out of here. And we are back in the world of the living. How'd it go? Good. We chatted for ages. The great bleeding pig told me loads of interesting things about carnivorism. Great. Tell me what you said. Hang on. I've got everything written down in my book. Hmm, what? I can't read my own writing. Are you serious? Yes, I don't know how that could happen. While I was writing, I understood everything. But now it's like someone's awful handwriting wrote it. Let me see. Do you understand what I wrote? Of course. Remember, I'm the awesome Sandro. 
Yes, I guess that does make sense. All of this is going to be useful. Useful for what? For making carnivorism the perfect religion. Like I told you, when they assigned me your case, I designed a course adapted just for you. But I was missing some minor details to make sure that there were no loose ends. After having created the Great Bleeding Pig, and now having all the fundamental principles of carnivorism in this book, I'll be able to guide you better on how to make your own animals happy and bring your customers back to the butchers. Cool, what do we need to do now? You need to look for a sanctuary, a place where all the followers of carnivorism can go to demonstrate their faith. Like one of those churches, exactly. A place where the carnivorists can go to pray, sing, die. I'm still not sure how they're going to show their devotion. Do you remember if the great bleeding pig told you anything about that? Hmm, I think he said something about a never ending happiness and interior warmth. It had something to do with faith, trusting in him and that kind of thing. Although I'm not sure, I think he said that, I'm having trouble remembering. It's normal that you can't remember that happened in your imaginarium once you've been disconnected, but don't worry, I'll take a look in your book and see if there's anything in there. Anyway, going back to what we were talking about, you need to find a place where you can use for a carnivorous sanctuary. It doesn't need to be big, a hall or just normal room will do fine. Ah, so we could use my room as a sanctuary. You mean the back room at the butchers? Yes, the abattoir. That's where I always play with my animals and slice them up. Yes, that would be a perfect place to set up a sanctuary. But it doesn't belong but doesn't it belong to your mum? Yes. But you don't need to worry about that. My mum and I get on well, so I don't think that'll be a problem. It's not that easy, Agatha. If you want carnivorism to be recognised as an official religion, we need the sanctuary to belong to you. So if you want to do it at your butchers, it will need to be in your name. So I'll ask my mum to put the store in my name. Easy. Well, but that should solve the problem, right? Yes, but would your mum be willing to do that? I'll ask her now, but I think she'll be okay with it. Okay, talk to your mum, and if you manage to persuade her, let me know. But remember, we can't tell anyone what we're doing. Not even your mum, okay? I know, don't worry. Okay, good luck convincing your mum. Brilliant, brilliant. Right, and on that note, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button and the like button if it's not too much trouble. Keep an eye out for my videos because I'm going to try and space them out so they come out every other day. But yeah, also check out the description down below as that has all my social media links as well as my Twitch. So follow them and you can find out when all my new shit comes out, when it comes out. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.